To be black and living in America is to be in the middle of two extremes tied together by a string so taut you could cut your fingers just by brushing against it, so taut it almost pings with a snap and begins imploding, causing each extreme to swing like planets no longer orbiting or observing their gravitational place. Predestined by the simple concept of race, a discriminatory tool upon which society has based its policies of ingrained racism, systematic and commonplace, in the safety of this not-so-safe space. To be black and living in America is a defiance against the assumption of institutional compliance and decades of subjugation and politeness. It is a threat to your reliance on economic deprivation of black communities as a means of silence. It is the cure for your state-mandated distribution of guns and violence. It is the ever-strengthening immune system against this virus. To be black and living in a constant state of unease, uncertainty lacing your veins with no guarantees that today your identity won't at once be seized and replaced with a statistic. Another black man shot dead by police. No justice, no peace, nor a hope of reprieve against police brutality when uniformed thugs are being placed on paid administrative leave and when a young man tells you 11 times that he can't breathe. A whole generation suffocates in disbelief that the price of their life and the depth of their grief will not be remedied by hashtag relief to be black and the object of centuries of oppression as the 400-year-old practice of slavery was a threat to any type of progression. In the 21st century, those shackles, less visible, yet the proof of a colonizer's obsession with control, willing to equate Black Lives Matter to all lives matter as a generous concession. After all, it's just an expression to be or not to be an existential crisis, a human being taught to be less than what they are, told they ought to be seen and not heard, told to not have fought with what they thought was injustice, to assume the default position of guilt and not cry out when assaulted, whilst your privilege silences your support. To be black and living in America is not to be at all.